Thank you very much. And uh, Dr. Javid Sheikh and Dr. Lopez Krom invited me to make a presentation. This morning, I will focus on two issues. The first, for the Chinese healthcare challenges. Second, the needs for the future on human resource for health. Yeah. The PowerPoint slides, too many slides. <laughs> I only have 15 minutes. Not enough, but we could have interactive discussion. I'm very happy to answer all kinds of questions related to cooperation, open, on the human resource for health issues, and also Chinese health care reform. Yeah, this is just the, the population and some basic uh, indicators. You have a quick In past 10 years, the life expectancy increasing about uh, three years. And uh, MMR, IMR reduce very fast. Yeah, this is the figure. This is the achievement. And the human resource, in terms of numbers of the person, yeah, already have more 10 million people working Chinese healthcare system. Among them, about 74% are health professionals, 8 million. And uh, village doctors plus assistants, more than one million. They are not included health professionals because they only have maybe less than one year or two years. Some of them, three years medical college. They have their license as uh, assistant physician. This is the health facilities. I don't to go in detail. 2015, about uh, uh, 110 million facilities. The hospitals, nearly 27,000. Half public, half private. So Chinese healthcare market is the most open market in the world. This is the numbers of the health facility visit. 7.7 7 billion in average. Every Chinese citizen every year at least six times go to health facilities. So this is a remarkable healthcare reform result. The investment from government um, in 2014, more than one trillion. And then more than 96% of the population, percent of population covered by health insurance, much better than USA. Uh, and uh, the out-of-pocket payment, less than 30% of lost total uh, healthcare expenditures. And uh, this is the uh, <coughs> some of challenges. <laughs> Big challenge, challenge. 
no communicable disease. Every year, about 4 million new cancer patients and 2 million, more than 2 million cancer patients die. Because too many, uh, uh, this is the figure, the disease burden, hypertension, about 170 million. And diabetes, more than 90 million. And uh, overweight, about 1 million. Every 30 seconds, one death cardiovascular disease. And the one person with diabetes in every 30 seconds. Between 2013 and 2014, the death from cardiovascular disease in all this among 35 to 46 years accounts 22%. U.S. only 12%. U.S. much better in terms of no communicable disease prevention and control. Much, much better than Chinese. So we should learn from U.S. in these aspects. And for the uh, cancer, we have a difference. The cancer fatality rate or morbidity rate in rural area is high than the urban area. So the government, what's the commitment? We last year issued the national strategy for Health China 2030. One of the most important steps towards Health China is national smoke-free law. Just the enforcement step by step start from Beijing, or Shanghai. <coughs> the our National Health and Family Planning Commission keeps fighting with a strong and a comprehensive law. We lobby, uh, try to uh, keep the smoking free in the, the public uh, area and the universal coverage. Standard residency training program. That's why I asked uh, Dr. Klong to invite uh, Bologna, Dr. Bologna Anderson and Susan uh, to join this meeting and I ask my colleagues to join. We should learn from U.S. how to do the qualified medical education, accreditation and assessment examination. In this area, we need to learn from USA because you already have about 100 years history in this area. And I also ask my colleagues someday go to your country to learn how to assessment all physician. To provide qualified health care, we need qualified physicians, nurses, pharmacists, and laboratory technicians. This is the basis. Yeah, what do we should do? So in quantity of the human resource for health, 2015, more than 10 million. By 2020, about 13 million, the total human resource for health in Chinese mainland healthcare system. And the licensed plus assistant doctors uh, by 2020 above 2.5 per 1,000 population. And then the nurses by 2020 uh, 3.14 per 1,000 population. And of course, 
we need more public health doctors and the GPs, uh, assistant GPs working in rural and remote areas. Yeah, this is the comparison with uh, African region or uh, uh, other uh, South Asia region in China. Uh, not bad, uh, just in between. Uh, less than uh, uh, European countries and uh, American, but uh, much better than Africa and the region uh, in Southeast Asia. Yeah, GPs, by 2020, we need increased by 211,000 with only five years. One year already gone. And for the obstetricians and the midwives, 140,000. Pharmacists, 427,000. And the physicians, they completed the, the residency, standard residency training program, half a million. This is a bigger challenge. How to ensure assurance the quality? All those past examination physicians, they can provide some standard service as the US. We need accreditation, assessment for the training basis, and the tutors. That's why we need uh, your support. So I'm very happy uh, to attend this kind of platform. We will use such a kind of platform. And the registered nurses increased to the more than one million within five years. All those examinations organized by uh, our center, all nurses, every year more than 70,000, uh, no, 700,000 nurses candidates attend the examination in next month. In together, more than 2.5 million uh, health professionals attending the examination organized by our center. That's why we needed to cooperate with uh, other medical or nurse assessment uh, institutions or medical board to learn your experience. Yeah, in China it's so complicated for the medical education. We have three years clinical medical education. After they graduate, they can attend the licensing exam examination as an assistant physician. We also have five years medical college, seven years and eight years. Uh, at my age uh, generation, they have six years med medical edu education. Of course, eight years medical uh, graduates, they can get the MD, uh, PhD degree. Seven years, master degree. The standard residency training, three years. And uh, to do the specialty, maybe another three years. For GPs, for the three years medical graduates, plus two years as a assistant GP, if they qualified the examination. For the continuing education, every has professionals every year, 25 credits. Yeah, the academic medical education, basic courses and clinical medical courses. Some of the initiatives, are, I will answer your questions. You can ask me questions because the time is uh, uh, going. Because China government and have the spirit, innovation, coordination, green, open, 
sharing. I wish you sharing your important experience with Chinese colleagues. And China will share all good practices to all over the world. Thank you for your pay attention.